We've got uh, right. the NFL just around the corner now. And today we're doing our over-under picks. Hmm. Yes. And so so uh, Stu has joined us yeah. along with Jeffy and Keith. And uh, you have the names to, uh, that we're going to I do. Draw. I do. Uh, yeah, to figure out who goes first. Yeah, I'm going to let Stu just whatever. blindly reach into this hat here and just grab a name there. Ooh. Well, of course. Stu, Stu will pick first. Who picks Stu? Yay. Who picks second? Go ahead. Better so pick me. Here. Yeah, I don't, want to, and I don't want to reach my hand. Pat. In the Pat same. will pick second. Okay. And this is the snake draft. Snake draft. Yeah, the yeah, snake snake draft. draft. Oh, oh gosh. Jeffy. Jeffy's third. And that I'm last. Leaves Keith All last. Right. Let me... Want to put the names up? Yep. What's good is we do right. this, and then uh, the person who loses yeah. buys, uh, us, buys lunch. us lunch, right? Yeah. That's the way it happens. Which, uh, how was that lunch from Keith last year? Man, mm. remember oh. that lunch? I, I, I don't, it. I yeah. don't tasty, remember it, though. No, I don't either. Wait, all the restaurants, they're still closed, right, guys? No, they're no. not in Texas. No, they're, not. they're all no. closed down. This is not New York City. No, uh, not. So, yeah, there's plenty of restaurants Open. Really? I just I hadn't gotten the news release on that one. You can eat inside these places now. And during uh, the entire time, I mean, there were restaurants that you could actually get food takeout. Right. Yes. I don't even know what you're talking about. So, now. <laughs> so, and since this all happened, I don't know, before the COVID situation. <laughs> Thank you. This could have happened a long time ago. All mm-hmm. right. So, uh, we start with Stu uh, on the. Over under for 2020. All right. Um, look, you know, I went with this pick last uh, last year. It was uh, controversial at the time. Uh, it proved to be exactly correct, just like all of my other predictions. But this one, I'm going to go back to the well with this one again. And I'm a little nervous because the number's a little lower than last year. But I'm going to go Cleveland Browns under eight and a half. Ooh. Uh, I, you know, I, again, I, I, it's got, they've got talent. But Mm -hmm. they do not seem to be anywhere near putting it together. (laughs) And I'm just not a Baker Mayfield guy long term. I love Baker Mayfield. uh, you I know, I, not as I a guy, him. but I mean, just as a quarterback, I don't know. Yeah. I'm not. I don't think he's the solution. So I'll go. Right. The Browns under eight and a half. Okay, uh, I'm going to start with Tampa Bay, okay. uh, and I'm going to tell. I'm going to take Tampa Bay over eight and a half. Oh, I'm taking my bucks. Yeah, I'm taking your bucks because oh, uh, I believe in Tom Brady, and uh, and I'm hoping he's going to prove Bill Belichick was a douche for letting him go. <laughs> Plus, everybody's lining up to to uh, join. Tom. I know they all want to be there. Yeah, all I know be that's there. why I was gonna go with my. my and they just got Leonard my Fournette. Buccaneers, man. Mm-hmm. Just got Leonard Fournette. Took me they, off with the, they got a lot game, of talent on that team. Game sure. changer, Leonard so, Fournette. Over. Took me off. With Jeffy. A, well, we might as well stay in Florida then and go with Miami. Six and a half. I uh, under. No way they win six and a half mm. games. No <laughs> mm. Jeffy's analysis is also thorough on these things. No you know, no way they do it. Well, that's great. Uh, that's an in- interesting piece of I information. Have, listen, I have, uh, I've you. done a, I have done an <laughs> extensive <in> depth <laughs> extensive. scan of all the records. Yeah, I will say this year is is has been a challenge yes, for research. It has. <laughs> you know, uh, this could be the one. This could be the one where you know Jeffy wins because I, all, all I care I about is not guessing. losing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, then I get a free lunch that I never get. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, you still owe this to us, Keith, right? I, I do. Yeah, I mean, like this, we're not going to let Keith off the hook. No, just we like, are. It's no, COVID, there's man. not a chance I mean, we let him year, off the hook. You know? That is not happening. Keith is going with. Uh, yeah, the LA Chargers last year they lost nine games by yeah. eight points nice. or less. So I think mm-hmm. this seven and a half. I think they're going to do better than that. I think they're a better they're team. Eight and a half. Are they? they? Yeah, they're at eight and a half. So are you going no, Char- no, Chargers, Chargers or seven and a half? Oh, the Chargers. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to go over seven and a half for the Chargers for my first mm-hmm. pick. My second pick, let's see. I'm going to go with uh, Cincinnati is uh, five and a half. I'm going to go over. I yeah, think Joe Burrow, yeah. I think second year with the new offense, um, I think they're going to be okay. Five and a half over for Cincinnati. Yep. All righty. Jeffy? Stu. Oh, yeah, Jeffy. Jeff, that's right. Oh, because okay. it was the snake thing. Yes. Oh, uh, we got to go with, uh, I got to go with uh, my man, uh, John Gruden and the Raiders. Seven and a half. He's got to be win more games than that. Well, maybe no. That's a pretty good analysis. He's got to do it. He's got to do it. He has to. It's a lot uh, like his to. first analysis so he, on his first He's got to do it. He has yeah. to. And don't yeah. forget that required is, he has to. to do that. I told you. So I, I've studied this. It is, it is now the Las Vegas Raiders. Don't yes. forget. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Pat Gray. Nice. Second uh, round pick. All right. Uh, 
New England Patriots, nine and a half. I'm going to go under on that. I don't, mm. I don't think they win nine and a half. So you're a Brady is more important than Belichick yes. guy? Yes. Mm-hmm. He yes, most I definitely am. is. Mm-hmm. So it's hard to, hard to question. Uh, okay. I uh, am going to look at uh, the Washington Redskins. <laughs> yeah. And the Washington Redskins mm-hmm. at five and a half wins. I'm going to go under. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> under five and a half. Yeah. It's a pretty good division this year, hopefully, uh, where the Eagles are pretty should be pretty good. The Cowboys, unfortunately, would be pretty good, and I think the Giants are going to improve. So it's a tough division for the Redskins. They're trying. They've just they've announced they're going to put Haskins in at quarterback, which is, again, like I'd rather play Alex Smith if I wanted to win games. Hmm. So uh, under five and a half for the Washington Redskins, and I also take Haskins is going to play instead of Alex, even though he's they, available now. They announced it. Uh, Did yesterday. they really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Which is uh, it's questionable. I think if I if Alex Smith actually was healthy enough to play, yeah. I think you I'd have to play him, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and I will also go uh, with the Buffalo Bills under nine and a half, which, yeah, again, they made bad. the playoffs last year. That's a big number for the Buffalo Bills, though. They do have a really good defense, and uh, you got to factor in that the Dolphins aren't that great, the Jets aren't mm-hmm. that great, and the Patriots could fall off, which I think is why their number is so high. But nine and a half, I mean, not, not a lot of years the Buffalo Bills are winning ten games. Yeah. Still have a lot to prove. I don't know that Jared Allen is uh, an elite quarterback yet. So there you go. Under nine and a half for Buffalo. Okay, that uh, <laughs> comes to me now. I'm gonna say I'm gonna take the New Orleans Saints over ten point five. Mm. Mm-hmm. I thought about that too. I think that's, that's a good. I don't know. Yeah. Drew Brees is gonna be. I think playing they win at knees. least at least eleven. He's gonna be playing on his knees. It's yes, gonna be tough is. for them to win. Yeah. Now, uh, did you do that because you wanted to honor Jacob Blake? Uh, because I know the Saints are very, very in tune with the with yes. feeling really bad for that rapist. So yes. I'm wondering yeah. if uh, it's true. Okay, good. Uh, Jeffy, what uh, team's got to do something? Here? The Chiefs got to win more than 11-5. Right? Oh 11 wow! The Chiefs got to win That's more cool. than eleven. They have to. I mean, look, they're a good team. They're well coached. Why am I filling in Jeffy's analysis? I don't know, but they've got to win. <laughs> they got to win. I already told you. That's true. You I know say that's that. the analysis. <laughs> I think they could be a 12-game winner. I, yeah. think, I think to pay yeah. for Mahomes' mm-hmm. contract, they have to win 18. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Thank you. So, Thank yeah. you. Yeah, yes. they have to. Boy, I keep picking back-to-back when I have zero here. Uh, you know, Arizona's a very talented team. Although it's a tough division, I still think uh, Arizona is going to win more than 7.5. Hmm. Okay. Arizona... Arizona's, they're going to boycott the first game. Those are you already. Oh, is that down. right? Uh, that's what they wanted to do. I don't know uh-huh. that they're actually going fun. to do it. Boy, they make it more. And if more they difficult. boycott, they forfeit. As far right, as they have to. Okay, you boycott, you forfeit. That's yeah. what they. That's what should have happened with the. What should have happened with, with the Milwaukee Bucks. Orlando yeah. game? Yeah. Yes. And instead, Milwaukee's decided to uh, boycott their second round series and just keep losing, <laughs> uh, which is a different way of doing it. They're playing no, the games. They're just, just acting like they're boycotting like they're the games. Mm-hmm. Which good uh, for them. Yeah, I'm good, for, go, good for them. I hope they get knocked out of the playoffs. That'd be great. Yeah, I, I could a, save this for a challenge, but I've got another one to challenge there. I think Miami is going to be a pretty good team this year, so I'm going to go over six and a half. Ooh. And who are they playing a quarterback? Fitzpatrick? Yeah, this it doesn't matter. Stu, come on. Oh yeah, yeah well the quarterback <laughs> doesn't matter. The, and no. This is good at football analysis. No. People come to us for this. <laughs> no, no, uh, they got to do it. Oh, they got to do it. Thank oh, you. Okay. Don't, be, sorry. Using, don't be digging into my. <laughs> they got to do it. Did you read my analysis sheets? <laughs> now, is there? There's two forms of Jeffy analysis. If I understand this right, there's you got to do it, and there's no way they can do it. So, which one will this be here? <laughs> this is. Oh yeah. So mine's they got to do it. I stole from you because they're both well, incredibly in depth. Yeah, right, both of them, and you just you can't really challenge you them. Know, I understand, you know, pro football focus. You have these like high level advanced statistics. Yeah. That's kind of what Jeffy offers here, right? Uh, and he, you know, he doesn't want to boil it. He doesn't want to like bore you with every single detail. He just skips to the end analysis. You gotta, or you, they can't. And, and what about what about? I really want. 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 <laughs> like I, you know, I really want the Cowboys. Uh, to win more than ten and a half, uh, are they? Gonna, is that what you're want, saying then? But I don't know that they will. Right? They probably win. I don't 10 know. Games. They're going to be pretty good this year. So you're I know. Under. But I know. What, what is that? What does that mean? That's not analysis. You just said both sides <laughs> of the equation. And just I really them. want. I, what does it mean? I want them to win more. Than you don't gonna? think they will? So your pick but is under. I think under? that they're probably going to win ten games. So, so yeah, we'll go gonna. under. Okay. Under Cowboys ten and a half. Under ten and a half. Wow. I, don't, I hope they don't. Mm-hmm. I hope I'm wrong on that. I know you don't want it. Mm. I know that hurts you, Stu, but mm. sorry. 
No, All it right. does because you're usually wrong. So they'll probably. Are you win avoiding 14. the Eagles the way I avoid the Falcons on these things? Hmm? Are you gonna? Make a bold prediction about your Eagles. Well, it's not his turn yet, so. I know. Well, just, you'll have to I wait mean, and see. I want to preview see. my draft <laughs> have to wait and see. Uh, all right, I'm going to go with the Green Bay Packers. They're at 9.5. I'm going to go Green Bay Packers under 9.5. Yes. Wow. Under 9.5. I should have done that one. Uh, the really? pack is not back. Uh, the pack is packed up and, and left town. They, <laughs> what a terrible draft they had. Really? Yeah. Oof. And then they're... Uh, oh, that's right. They picked the quarterback, right? Didn't they pick the quarterback? Yeah. yeah. They picked yeah. A, uh, oh, God. Love. That doesn't yeah. make any sense. And it didn't make any sense at all. Instead of getting you know some receivers for him, for, for Aaron... Uh, Rodgers, they they get another quarterback. I mean, Jordan Love, come on now. And the reports out of the out of the uh, training camp is that he's not exactly setting the world on fire right now, Mm-mm. and I don't think he's going to. I don't think so ever. either. I don't, I don't. I've just never been that impressed with him. He played at Utah State, and he was okay one year. I mean, really? And then you pick him in the first round, plus yeah. <laughs> the only free agent they got this year opted out of the season. Yeah, bye bye. So oh, really? Not, yeah, he's not going to play. He opted out because of COVID nineteen. I wish I followed them more closely. This sounds like a great pick. Uh, yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. It does. And I'll give you one more little fact. Mm-hmm. Uh, I just saw somebody's uh, analysis on on Green Bay, and they they had done uh, ten thousand simulations of the season, and uh, Green Bay averaged eight point one wins. Ooh, in that's 10, less than nine point five. Less than nine point five. I mean, I'm not good at math, as you and know. And that but just I think backed that's... up my already. Wow. Convinced yeah. thought. I didn't do 10,000 doing... in my analysis, yeah. but uh, I did probably, I don't know, 1,000 <laughs> in my you? analysis. Yeah. Did you? Okay. Seven, nine. Seven, nine. <laughs> yeah, seven. Nine. Okay. Seven well, point nine. Either way, it should be under 9.5, am I right? <laughs> that's correct. That? That's All right. Correct. I will say, I'm surprised. That, that's <clears throat> the, by far the best piece of analysis of this entire segment, and he waited <clears throat> for the fourth round to do it. Well, like, I. <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? You really bummed that. Pat picked my bucks. And well, because it kind of hurts me to pick it. Against Green Bay, but. it hurts you to do. Yes. Uh, all right. I uh, and I, I, I mean, Pat's. I really, I love the New Orleans over pick. Yeah, I, I mean, do too. I love all his picks. I yeah. Guess. You know, Tampa Bay. I thought about Tampa Bay as a challenge because I think there's a. They don't have a lot of depth. There's a chance it falls apart. But Brady, I can't go against him. So I'm gonna go mm-hmm. uh, Philadelphia under nine and a half. Every player on their team is already hurt. I know. The season has not started oh. yet. Uh, Are they, they got a lot of injuries? I'm doing the same thing as Pat here mm. uh, as I'm going against my team. Then now I have a little bit of this as I like to hedge my life in that like if the if if they suck at least I'll have this. Right. <laughs> you know, right. right. <laughs> and then if they don't suck then you're fine then who with cares? that. Too. I don't care. Right. But I mean I will say I this team was absolutely devastated with injuries last year. They brought in a bunch of new guys, got younger, and now they're absolutely devastated yeah, with injuries no already this year. Um, it's incredible. I don't know what the hell is happening. Uh, so I will go Philadelphia under. And then for my challenge, uh, I I am going to go uh, I'm going to go Arizona under 7.5, which is risky. However, that is a tough division. Yeah. I mean, they just have a, mm-hmm. a really difficult schedule. I think they could. I don't feel super passionately about it, honestly. But I thought about going Tampa under. But I think I'll go. I'll go with. So you're a, challenging me. I'll go against Keith. Uh, mm-hmm. Arizona under seven and a half in a very difficult division. Okay, uh, okay my challenge it. is going to be. Uh, I'm going to challenge your 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 Cleveland prediction. Uh, oh, oh, I'm going to take yeah. Cleveland to over eight point five. I I I think Baker Mayfield shines this year. I think this is the year. This he is comes the year. Through. Yeah. What is this year three? I think year for three. Him? I year mean, it three. would make sense. It would make sense. They've got really uh, good. I think a lot it's his breakout year. They got tons of talent, and they guys still have what's his face. They have Odell Beckham. They yep. got Nick Chubb, who's been great. Yep. Uh, Kareem Hunt, in case you, yeah. you need you, you need to have some. In uh, case you got a you need a sexual harassment. Uh, yeah, uh, running back. You need on someone the team. to be kicked in a hotel. You, know? you got so, Kareem Hunt. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. works. It works. Uh, yeah, no, it's uh, that, that's it's not a crazy pick. I like. I just feel like they're one of those teams. They were very. They were the trendy pick last year. Yeah. And I think there's that. There's that overwhelming. I think it went feeling. to their head a little bit last yeah. year, and and maybe they've adjusted. I hope uh, this year. We'll see. All right, Jeffy. Jeffy. I got a challenge. I think Pat's uh, New Orleans because Drew Brees is playing on his knees. 
So they're <laughs> it's, it's true. If, if they're going to be under, so and they have uh, yeah. it would be mm-hmm. Jameis without without yeah. uh, Breeze. But right? if Breeze goes down, no, then your boy, Hill. yeah, takes th- some Hill. Yeah. I think they did announce it is going to be. Jameis. They announced it. I, did they really? I don't know. He loves to taste him, though. He does, Who's but I think more? for their backup. I mean, they, Jameis Wilson, did, Winston did throw for 5,000 yards last year. I know, their, but, they, paying, but, uh, I know. Uh, but they they announced early on he's going to be the backup yeah. this year. Now this he is, earned uh, it. And then they got Jameis, uh, and now they've gone back on that. That pisses me off. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't. I think their long term plan is still probably Taysom, right? I don't. I don't know necessarily I that, that Jameis is the long term uh, plan. Sometimes you're gonna have to play him before you, you know, before yeah. you make him the starter, though. I mean, when are you gonna play him yeah. and see if he can do the job? Would seem to be this year if you need him. Uh, let's let's see if he can get it done. That's and fair. maybe after the first couple games of uh, mm-hmm. Drew on his knees, that's when you start playing him, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to challenge Stu. He took Buffalo under nine and a half. I think with New England, without Tom Brady, I think there's going to be a lot of wins in that division available. Is that good no, analysis? Where is the microphone he's speaking? Am I missing? It's right here. Oh, you got oh, Okay, nice. That's awesome. Oh, Magic, right? wow. like, I don't have the headphones on, so I can't oh, okay. hear. Okay. Wow, uh, nice. Over nine and a half for Buffalo is going to be my uh, challenge there. Okay. I mean, that's a, well, there it is. Yeah, the division's Ta-da! not strong. So no. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. I mean, I think I, I think they got to do it. I don't. there's a there's don't. a thought that they got to do it. There's another thought though, that they can't don't. do it. They just can't. So I don't know which way I'm so going. So there are that. two thoughts on that. There's, there's two, two thoughts. You got to do thought. it, huh? And, and then they can't, can't do it. Can't do it. And I don't know. Like, I mean, know, which thought do you I go mean, with? Though? Well, well, I you can go with. I really you know want I mean? them to. And then then you got to factor in the really <laughs> want them to. That's when it gets. Yeah, that's deep. outside the box stuff right there. That's when it gets deep and difficult. That's why Jeffy's here. That's why Jeffy's here. That's exactly why he's here.